Hi, welcome back to Really Bird Chats. My name is Kate, and today I'm going to be setting up my new book room kind of mini library. Um, I am super sick. My whole family's been sick. My youngest son's been in, was in hospital because he was really sick. And the day he got discharged, we found out we had a house, which we've been waiting on for ages. If you watch my channel regularly, you'll know waiting for housing. So very excited to be able to move my stuff in. This isn't the ideal place to have all my books because the kitchen's across the way. This is, would be what's the dining room. But it means we're able to put up a baby gate and have our dining room table and sofa in the living room. So it kind of works out the best for us, I think. So we're going to start unpacking today. So I'm going to first of all going to put in all the shelves, so I'll show you what the shelf layer looks like and then we'll get to books and then upstairs I've put a old bookshelf I've had for years, I'm going to put all of my like collectible old like special edition kind of books just so they're out of the way of any cooking fumes or little people fingers to keep them safe. So we're going to go with that today. <laughs> I don't know what's happened with the previous resident. You've got blue paint and scorch marks on the floor. Somebody had a good time. Possibly the blue man group. It's a trick of a mind that's trying to hold on to a love that's dying. Cause letting go means saying goodbye and I ain't ready for that. Unit and then singles in either drawers, uh, shelf and stuff, but you've got four of those, so I'm very impressed. And then we've got the whole window, which is what I was worried about. And then on this side, just here, it's a really mess at the moment, but that's going to be where the desk is going to go, so it's going to be like a little office room. So let's unpack. I'm not sure what the best way to organize these are going to be. I don't know whether to do it like color, genre, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to try color because I used to have color paperback. But will that drive me insane? We'll see. Let's see how it goes. I think I'm going to stick to what I used to have, which is paper bats, middle grade YA adult. Titanic by Douglas Adams Terry Jones. It really wasn't, didn't feel like a Douglas Adams book. And I'm also going to see if my mother in law wants the Magnolia story, which I read, it was fun. And I'm going to let Freaks go. I was holding on to it, but I just didn't think I'd ever read it again. It was fun when I read it. And I'm going to let my copy of Jane Eyre go because it has the world's tiniest font. And I would like to get one that I could actually read if I wanted to reread it. Two, three, four. I needed you more. When did this love become a 
about keeping score, I don't know But I'm trying to figure this out on my own Take me to paradise and call me back home Make me feel young again as I'm growing old There's some things you can't control But I think I know a thing or two about love, 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 love. The steal it when you need it And the give it when you don't So my camera battery died, but I did get all of my paperbacks on here. So I've got like 
mostly historical fiction, going into mysteries, more historical fiction. I read a lot of historical mysteries, so I don't know where to put those. Going down into the box set, so I've got the um, Little House series, Anne of Green Gable series, and some Rick Riordan series down there. Oversized books, the Maximum Ride series, Sarah J Mass, and then Agatha Christie is all up here. And then some more mass market paperbacks. It's amazing how many books there are written about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They're all there. And then romance, romance, sci-fi romance into some more fantasy. I also happen to unpack a lot of books. So this is the other bookshelf that we have upstairs. Um, and I just need to put kind of more collectible books up here really. So I'm gonna go through and see what I have. just some really old books I've had since I was little so yeah the shadow is caused by this in this window but yes that is this bookshelf done so thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to do a massive unhaul video next week so please do watch and subscribe for that one if you'd like to and I'll see you again very soon goodbye